Hello. Today, we'll learn about an important concept in material science or chemistry, even electronics, which is Miller indices. Now, for finding what are Miller indices, we first have to draw a simple unit cubic cell. We draw the x-axis, y-axis and the z-axis. It's a right-handed coordinate system as you can understand that if you take a cross product of x to y, it will give z. Now, we draw a unit cube. A unit cube is a cube whose each side is of unit length in any unit dimensions. Now let's define a plane which intersects the x-axis at this point 1, 0 and 0. The plane could be defined as something like by this blue color. We find the intercept made by this plane on x-axis to be 1, on y-axis to be infinity. The reason because this plane is parallel to y-axis. It does not intersect at all. Similarly, the plane is parallel to z-axis, so the intercept is infinity. Next, we take reciprocal of the planes or the intercepts. The reciprocal of x-intercept is 1 by 1, which is 1. Reciprocal of y-intercept is 1 by infinity is equal to 0. And the reciprocal of z-intercept is again 1 by infinity is equal to 0. Hence, Miller indices which are denoted as H, K, L within parenthesis where H refers to this number, the reciprocal of intercept on x-axis, K refers to the reciprocal of the intercept on y-axis and L represents the reciprocal of intercept on z-axis will become 1, 0, 0 within parenthesis. This is said aloud as 1, 0, 0 plane rather than 100. Next, let's try to find something a little more challenging. We first start out by drawing again a cubic unit cell. We take a plane which is a little different than parallel to any axis. Suppose the plane is intercepting the x-axis at a point one third comma 0 comma 0 which is this point because this is 1 it is intercepting the y axis at a point 0 comma 2 third comma 0 this is x this is y this is z I should have leveled them before and suppose the plane is intercepting the point on z axis as 0 0 1 now let's draw this plane it is a triangular looking plane as we see here and we can hatch it. The procedure to be followed here is similar. The x-intercept is one-third. On y, the intercept is two-third. On z, the intercept is one. The reciprocal on for x is reciprocal of one third or three for y reciprocal of two by three which is three by two and for z it is one 
if we write these three numbers together as we did, it will become 3, 3 by 2 and 1. However, Miller indices have to be integers. So we multiply throughout by 2, which is the denominator. And we get 6, 3 and 2 as the three numbers, as the reciprocals of intercepts. We put them inside parenthesis to say this plane is denoted as 6, 3, 2 plane. We got the example of 1, 0, 0 plane as we saw earlier. However, what would happen if a plane was to become such that it intercepts the y-axis at y is equal to 1 or point is 0, 1, 0 and it is parallel to x-axis. This is the plane and it is parallel to z-axis. Similarly, the x-intercept here will be infinity. The y-intercept here will be 1 and the z-intercept here will be again infinity. Taking the reciprocal, we have h as 0, k as 1 and l as 0. The plane, as you can see from above, will become 0, 1, 0 plane as the Miller indices notation. However, 1, 0, 0 planes, 0, 1, 0 planes and similarly 0, 0, 1 planes all could be written as a family of planes as within this curly bracket as 1, 0, 0 planes. The Miller indices are important for finding many uh, concepts in material science and chemistry. One of them is the D spacing or interplanar spacing between the parallel planes, which is defined as A, which is the side of cube, which differs for different material and which is generally in angstrom divided by root over h square plus k square plus l square where h k l refer to the Miller indices. As an example if we have a crystal structure whose side of the cube is point 361 nanometer. The D spacing for 220 plane would become 0 0.361 divided by 2 square plus 2 square plus 0 square, which will be 0 0.128 nanometer. Thank you for watching the video. We could go into more details in later videos.